Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello, what's up? It is Lasty here. Welcome, welcome today, Monday, fresh start from a new week to a new episode here of the FIFA 22 Ultimate Team Road to Glory above my head right there. This is episode number 283. We are going to get stuck into some Ultimate Tots content today. Um, so yeah, sorry that we're a couple of days behind, but or ahead, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it is what it is, right? Uh, if you do enjoy today, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. If I could see not 1,000, but 2,000 likes, that'd be brilliant. Uh, your support means the world to me, and genuinely, like, we've had a great year again on the RTG. I'm very thankful for that. Uh, and don't forget, you can subscribe to the channel if you're new. Cheers. So, we're actually going to start this episode off in the best way possible. One of the best ways you could possibly ever start an episode. And that is to head straight on into Tot Swaps. Because it became 6pm on Friday night. It became Ultimate Tots. And Tot Swaps, like SBCs, unlocked themselves. So we can do an 84 plus times 25 pack. Because I had worked my socks off in the background to get my 15 tokens. Uh, however I've done it, I don't know how, because I was so far behind for so long, and then it seemed like I'd managed to get like 15 out of like the 18 that were possibly available. So I think, you know, pat on the back, we've done all right there. Um, and whether or not there are still a few more for me to collect that maybe get a little uh, little extra pack in a, in a week's time or so, um, that might be the case. But yeah, I, I don't know how many are left for them to to get was that are they gonna uh, re like release 25 of them i'm not buying the hundred thousand coin pack in the store that's for sure um but yeah we use all 15 tokens to get the fodder pack now part of me did think should i do like a guaranteed prem tots player pick one of three something like that have a couple of have a couple left over maybe get something good uh, but then I, I was just like you know what i saw that Di maria and i was like yeah i want i want all the fodder because i'm gonna need to get that sbc done so here we go ladies and gentlemen are we gonna get a blue we are is it gonna be an ultimate tots it is it's kevin d Bruyne from manchester city a massive 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 pull on the rtg i was buzzing because it's kdb one of my favorite players in football and uh, it's so difficult to always pack one of these cards. Because let's face it, he gets like a 96 rated card as a team of the year and a team of the season every year. And it's tough to get. So we've managed to get hold of one. Excellent stuff. Uh, only one extra tots in there. Uh, and it is an MLS tots, I believe. But the fodder is good. You know, there's there's an, a duplicate Lukaku and Gerard Moreno. We get a um, couple 87s, couple 88s and 89. Like it's pretty decent fodder yes i've seen better packs but also we got a good ultimate tots we got one of the better ones uh and i'm quite excited to try and get him into the squad so packing this guy was is both a blessing and a curse because now i've just got the task of trying to fit him in and so so yeah just to put you in in a time perspective of where we're at we're like probably quarter past six on friday night here um i've just packed him hustling to get my new squad together got a great idea of someone that i might want to bring into the squad because we've got coins um and that's going to be Zhao cancelo team of the season all right and i know him he's been seven eight hundred thousand coins for the longest time um he just yeah he, he's just been creeping back up but ultimate tots just dropped so maybe with the first lightning round it's a good chance to get a bargain i need to learn from my mistakes uh, because this is like Haaland 2.0, back in the Bundesliga Tots. So I snipe one here, pretty good. Not, no, it's not really a snipe. But the 620 just went, right? So I bought one for 600k, and I was like, I've actually still got coins, and I've got Tots Cancelo. This is great. Um, <sighs> he then, he then, like, just carried on going down. At the time I'm filming this, He's 400k, so I've lost 200,000 already. And who knows how low that's going to go, right? Like, I'm sure I'm sure I'll lose, like, 400,000 coins or something on that card. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. I am not a good trader. Don't follow my trading techniques because my technique is typically buy high, sell low. And I think 
not 100% sure, but I think that's like the opposite of what like the crypto people and the, you know, NFT and, uh, and stock market people are all telling you to do. They want you to buy low and sell high, make profit. No, 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 no. We don't do that over here. We do the opposite. We make ourselves cry because we literally lose loads of money on a player. And this is a road to glory. Losing a couple hundred thousand coins is not not a small thing. It's a big deal. It's a couple of weeks worth of coins. Um, so yeah, that's that's down the pan. Sorry about that. Uh, I made another another oopsie. Uh, and it is just is what it is, right? Um, but we'll use Cancelo. He's got to be one of the best players on the game. Uh, we'll get some good use out of him. It gives me a strong link to De Bruyne. Bringing him back in the squad helps. Obviously, the, the Portuguese links off to like João Felix and Ronaldo. So, uh, yeah, it's 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 a good place to be in. But we could have just, if I waited like literally an hour and a half, I could have saved another 150,000 coins. But I just thought... He was going to drop, and then once the lightning round finished, boom, he was going to skyrocket back up. Turns out, wasn't the case. So, I've committed to the Di Maria SBC. Uh, just looked like a card that I really wanted to get my hands on. I don't necessarily have the links for him right now, but I just feel like, you know, at some point during Ultimate Tots, maybe I'll uh, get something that, you know, you play the weekend league, you luckily end up getting like a Red and Bappe or something, then you're laughing. But that probably won't happen, obviously. But it, it did for me last year. I got red Neymar and red Mbappe last year. So I'm thinking if there's a slight chance, I wouldn't mind having that Di Maria to get a strong link to them. Uh, and he looks like a cool card. Always, I always quite enjoy like the, the absolutely cracked out versions of Di Maria cards on this game. He had a team of the year. FIFA 15? Seven years ago, FIFA 16, one of them, uh, and it was it was great. So uh, we're bringing him back in. Yes, he's got a three-star weak foot. I don't think that'll be too big of an issue. Um, we'll, we'll see. But welcome to the club. End of an era. Premium squad building challenge. Angel Di Maria, 96 overall rating. He does now have a dynamic image, obviously. Like a few hours after this, he got his dynamic uh, but 96 pace, 97 dribbling, 96 passing, 91 shooting. He's got 99 agility, 98 dribbling, good composure and reactions. Like this is a this is a quality card, uh, and I think I think I'm going to enjoy it. So I just really wanted it, and I had the fodder to do so. So we've still got a little bit of fodder, um, but we have essentially with the tot swaps cards unlocked the Di Maria if you get me, because we've done it with the, the fodder pack and stuff. So that's essentially how that's gone. So uh, yeah, well done, Tot Swaps. You've got me another big, big player. And a, so with Tot Swaps, we've actually got De Bruyne and Di Maria. So that, yeah, that's worked a treat. Um, it would have been lovely to get like an Nkunku or someone that is just like that, that little level above, but I'm so happy to get KDB. So it might look weird, but this is the starting 11 for the latest creation of mine. Uh, KDB actually starts in centre back, but obviously he's not going to play there. He's going to play as one of my CDM, CM, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I'm going to go with Koulibaly, Vieira, and Mateus as my three centre backs. I don't know if that's a massive like L, but I didn't want to waste Cancelo as a centre back. I wanted to use him as either a DM or a wide player, uh, and the way that it just set up when once I built the squad was that, yeah, those three were at the back. So two icons and Koulibaly in centre-back role. I don't think Mateus will do a bad job there at all. I've loved him at right-back so in the past, so I think he'll do an all right job in centre-back. Uh, and it means that we can offload Nuno Mendes. Yeah, we lose a little bit of money on him. He's been fluctuating, actually, since then. I, th I don't think he's far off what that price is. He might have risen just a little bit. But uh, I thought he was going to skyrocket when Di Maria came out. But obviously, it's the other side. But I thought people wouldn't want to buy... Tots uh, team of the year Hakimi so they might just buy Nuno Mendes so yeah but he unfortunately didn't skyrocket I think loads of people packed him during league on Tots uh, so we've got three players on seven cam we've got De Bruyne, Koulibaly and Di Maria uh, so three of the newest players actually to the to the club um, we have on seven chemistry but with the stats they've got they're nearly maxed out right so i think they're going to be just fine uh, and i look forward to giving them a run out we get a little mega pack for a flash challenge um are we going to get any blues or anything good from this well no <laughs> we're going to get boards uh it is arthur from 
Poimon de Calcio. Oh, I really am parched. I'm going to take a sip of drink. A little bit of ASMR for you there. For those wondering. A little bit of blackcurrant squash. Lovely stuff. Or apple and blackcurrant to be, to be more precise. Um, so I did another token. So this is actually like the first I've got now after spending all 15. You get a rare Electrum player pack as well. No boards or walkouts. Hello. Come on. You gotta be kinder to me than that. I probably just put an 83 into that or a couple of them into that and ended up getting an untradeable 82. Not great. So Foot Champions has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit nervous. I actually played these four games on Friday night. Um, I wasn't gonna let myself play these games on Friday night, but I got I was just like I I I'd edited up to this part of the video, knew that I was about 10, 11 minutes in. And I knew if I could play a few games of champs, that I would have a complete video. And then tomorrow, what we'll do is we'll finish champs off, play the remaining like 15 games or whatever. Uh, maybe I'll just show you the wins or something. Who knows? Um, and then get our rewards for either 9 or 11 wins, whatever we're able to, to, to create in this sweat fest that is the weekend league. Um, so, yeah, that's sort of the plan. And... Uh, Friday night gameplay was trash. Uh, I'll be honest, it felt awful. Uh, I felt rusty. My opponents felt like th th they were also a bit rusty. I get a 3-0 victory in game one, but it was like 0-0 at half time. I couldn't hit a barn door. And uh, it was, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know why I played on from this match here because it gave me a good idea of what the game felt like. And it was bad. It, was, it wasn't good. Um... So I instantly realized that Mateus needs to be my central center back and Di Maria is more of a cam than a striker. Stop disrespecting Felix, put him up front, uh, and that is the plan. All right, so we're, we've done that now. And Mateus is the central one just because uh, essentially uh, Koulibaly and Vieira are going to be like at the back stick if someone whips a ball across. So they've got more height to win the headers uh, and Di Maria um, and, uh, and Mateus is actually kind of a little bit more mobile than the other two. Uh, so being at centre, central centre back might be okay for him. If that was like the the logic behind it anyway. Whether or not that came to fruition, I don't really know because uh, you'll see in these next three games, there's a lot of conceding. I was three one down at half time, and just thinking to myself, what is happening here? What's going on here? This is this is not me. So. We brought Baradi on, made a couple of changes, uh, and I actually switched to the 4 triple 2 I'm pretty sure. And it was just like a whole different ball game. Uh, it was, they really do call football the game of two halves, and they really did mean it. Because, uh, yeah, this 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 game, I literally turn it around. I get the, the winning goal there in the 84th minute with Ansu Fati. So, it just yeah, it worked a treat. I scored a banger with KDB, which made me feel good. Uh, and and I get a 4-3 victory after I was actually so down bad in the first half. It, yeah, that, that's nice to get a win there. So uh, it does tell me that in the way that the gameplay feels and stuff, there are going to be games that I'm winning that I then end up losing because that's just what I've done to my opponent there. Uh, but the next two opponents I come up against were just absolute sweats. And, and I mean that in the most respectful possible way. Like, they're very good at the game is what I really want to say. But at the time, I, I hated every every part of these people, uh, of course. It's just those people that hold possession. 71% possession in 30 minutes. Come on, man. I was so tired and bored and just done with it. Um, yeah, and then the next guy, it's these people that just get the ball... And they do a little 360 and they, they turn back on themselves and they turn back again and they turn back again and they turn back again. That's essentially what I was playing against and I'm no good at it. I'm no good at defending against it because when I when I anticipate them turning back, they don't turn back. And when, they, when I don't anticipate them doing that, they turn back. Another 61% possession there. I quit at 2-0. So at 2-2, two two, after losing the last two games, like... Rage quitting at 2-0 down. I thought, I'm done for the night. i I got to stop there. <laughs> I just can't. I can't and I shouldn't have played. And I won't be playing anymore. So, uh, following that, I had an absolutely sleepless night. I don't know why. Um, but I literally just, I was tossing and turning. Couldn't get to sleep uh, at all. I don't think I had any sleep. 
And then at 4 a.m. I just got out of bed and was like, you know what, I'm going, I'm going into my office. I'm going, I'm going to work. Uh, and uh, from that, I played a couple of games of squad battles. You'll see all of this at the start of tomorrow's video. And I think I played a couple of games of weekend league, three games maybe, at like 5 a.m. And uh, yeah, you'll see tomorrow morning how that goes for me. But it's, I'm, I am, I'm in struggle. I'm in struggle mode at the moment. I might all be all aboard the struggle bus. Uh, it's, it's just long, isn't it? And with the ultimate tots rewards not being all they're cracked up to be, if we were to just get five or nine wins, whatever it is, I don't think I'd care. That's a bad thing, isn't it? That we've got to the point now where the rewards don't really cut it for you. How are you feeling about it, actually? Let me know down below, because obviously this is like my job and I'm a hardcore FIFA player. And if I'm starting to lose a little bit of the interest, how do you feel? Let me know down below. Smash the thumbs up on the episode, though. If you are still enjoying the content, a like really does go a long way for me at this point. You know, uh, it is it would be uh, really, really helpful for the channel if you could just smash that thumbs up. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new. Cheers. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Both of those links are down below. I'm going to go off and play some more Weekend League and hate myself and hopefully get to 9 wins or 11 wins or whatever it is. I'm not going to set too much of a pressure or target on on that i'm just gonna get it done get whatever rewards we get and go from there all right and i'll see you tomorrow for another episode peace